there are two roads, two pathways. Nowadays, on our beautiful planet, there unfortunately is a lot of violence. There is too much aggression and acts of destruction towards each other and also towards our plants, our oceans, our mammals, all of the living creatures on planet Earth at the moment are experiencing too much destruction. There are too many laws that have been broken. And this is not the way for humanity to grow as one thriving body of love. So, you need to understand these two laws. One is violence and the other is love. Violence begets violence. Violence begets destruction. Destruction begets evil. But love begets love. And love begets life. A life of divine and selfless attitudes knows no violence. It knows no greed, nor hatred, nor cruelty. And when violence is activated, it creates ripples that spread like a wildfire, creating generations of generations of progressive evil like some vicious destructive virus spreading like a wildfire. And this influences the all. However, those who are awake, who are living in true awareness and are mindful of this, can prevent themselves from being influenced. For all oppression, all violence, every wicked act, against every living creature is an act to oneself and to the spirit of the all, the spirit that gives life to the all, the spirit that gives life to the bees, the flowers, the plant world, the mammals, the birds. For we are all one life. We are all an expression of this life. It is written everywhere and by the finger and heartbeat of the all. Thou shall not kill. All killing has severe consequences and the cause of killing only kills oneself. There is an enormous amount of energy that is transferred by the intention and the violence of killing. Don't you understand? that energy or energy gets transferred. And so when we kill, destroy, murder, we create an 
atmosphere for evil to live, to incubate, to grow, and to transfer. For when we cut the trees, we uproot their blessings, which they happily want to provide for all of us. When we pollute our oceans, we pollute ourselves. When we contaminate the air that we breathe, we contaminate ourselves. For we are one life. We are one body. We are one living, breathing, Form. We are one. The oceans, the forests, the flowers, all have a beautiful individual part to play in life and in consciousness. They are also part of this huge living organism. Just like every cell plays a part in your own body, it is no different to every organ that serves your body but has a completely unique, different program. But all of your organs have one objective. And that objective is what I need you to understand. They are separately different, uniquely different. The lung is the lung, the heart is the heart, the liver is the liver, the brain is the brain. Different, separate, but they are united in one principle and this principle is being broken this law is being broken it is the law of serving upholding supporting and giving life and so you can see from this dynamic that your purpose in life is also to give life, to spread life, to share life, to embrace life through the greatest law of all, the law of love. Love with deep respect, love with honesty, love with humility, love with patience, love with a deep gratitude. Without truly understanding this, man does not understand his future. He only creates an atmosphere of death, disease and destruction. And therefore, all of these pestilences, diseases, viruses will spread. For we have no right to touch what we did not create. We did not create life. And therefore, we shall not break the law of love and life. We are not the creators or the owners. And so therefore humanity has to come to a place of humility and acceptance that we are breaking this very law that supports us each day. For if we do not, we are creating the wrong spin. We are turning the wrong way. And therefore, there will be severe 
consequences. Power without love only brings further suffering and pain. But the power of love, the power to love, especially those that hate and even despise you, brings only blessings. And so love begets love. Love begets life. And life begets light. And light begets mindfulness. And so the wheel of life spins in the right way. The wheel starts to spin in the right direction, creating further and further an energy to support more life. Therefore, every living creature wins. Every living creature wins because they receive the blessing of love, of light, of heat, of energy in the right way. Or it is like the tree of life that grows the right way. And so you can see you as a soul can spin in the right way or grow in the right way. So Ma, with the deepest respect and love to your life, to your journey, to your family, to your community, asks you these questions. Which way do you want to spin and which way do you choose to grow? The choice is yours. Simba to all of you. Mar loves you deeply.